Ooh. Um, why is there a freaking... Freaky skeleton? Picky. Yeah, pricky. And pony. Picky and pony there. And picky... I, I don't know about that. I don't like the look of that situation. I guess we'll see if we need to rescue her or something. But okay. They're just romantically involved, you know. Sure. Look at Back off! Picky boom! One more step and picky boom! <laughs> that was quite of a noise that he had like, Look at Back off! Picky boom! One more step and a picky <laughs> boom! Like, <laughs> no, let go! Please help! He's fluffy. <laughs> yep, totally fluffy. Rednit, are you fluffy? <laughs> 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 Calm down. We are not coming any closer. Let's just talk about this. Calm down. We're not coming any closer. Let's just talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> well, both fit for me in some aspects. Yeah, what do you want to say? What? Yeah. Am I so cold-hearted? Yep. Or not? Yep. Ah, my goody two-shoes wins out. <laughs> always. Yes. Uh -huh. Don't worry, miss. We'll get you out of this fix somehow. Continue. Oh, Please just keep a trap shut or picky boom. No fox, shoo or picky boom. Black warning or picky boom. Uh, <laughs> okay. What? Oh, that was supposed to do. Princess keep her chap shot or picky boom. New folk shoe or picky boom. A warning or picky boom. Yeah, but what can we do? <laughs> yeah, what can we do? Gods, the fuse is getting shorter. Stop it! Freeze it! Ah, uh, freeze. Freeze it? Can you do? Ah, uh, papa. Ba -ba. Can you do raid? I don't know. Raising that definitely doesn't go that far. Ah. I need to see. Let me go, you little I monster. The spirit oh, of the Winter King. That actually worked. It was a good thing oh, that yeah. he. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You saved my life. It was that cur of a Frederick that did this to me. He locked me in here with that. With that ridiculous creature. Dear me, I need to get out of this room. Yes, I'll go downstairs to catch a breath of fresh air. But do come and talk to me again if you want to hear more about what transpired here. My thanks once more, sweet hero. But yeah, I didn't notice to even think about that. But of course, I didn't know that it actually won't be exploding that way if you freeze it. Makes totally yeah. sense, but... Of course, we are only very recently got that ice shot thing for you anyway. Yeah, I was about <laughs> to say that it was a good thing that we learned that. Yep, otherwise there would have been nothing we could have done about that. We would just have had to leave. Chest. Yes, I'll leave that chest for you to open. Well, but didn't you have more lucky find? Oh, right. I thought... Somehow that, yes, it's gonna be locked and all that, but yeah. Um, why don't you give, give us survivor's karma? I got lucky! Cleansing yeah. water scroll, water of life scroll, antique metal helmet and sturdy metal braces that you can sell in Great. the future. Hmm. I have all, already a lot of crap that I can sell. Yep. I'm not sure if it should be locked. Prattle room door. This one is locked. I wonder. I guess it would have had to be into this one then. But hey, that's lock level one. So you definitely could open it if you want. There's a couple of chests inside. What? My dear friend, the barrel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was funny. I saw your head poke out of your... <laughs> yeah, so did I. I don't know why I think sneaking is important. Mm. But I just can't. Like what? 
painting of a cock. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I just... <laughs> it feels bad to just take everything. Yep. Ah, well, at least the paintings, they are not gonna miss Let the few paintings. I didn't even get the luckiness. I want oh, the no. luckiness. Why? Soon enough my book will be finished, the brothel room and AI witness account. What? Why did the trophy say that to me? <laughs> okay. What? The brothel room and AI witness account. Okay. <laughs> Okay, then. Um, okay. You have it. ambitions, yep. dear trophy. Yep, apparently. I'm almost so. really that someone has a camera there or something, but... Uh, it's just a trophy that wants, wants to, to write a book. About proto activities, yes. Apparently yeah. so. Let me just wait. I so support I... anyone who wants to write a book. Yes, of course. Blessed talisman, protect me. As a mushroom. I'll just leave that helmet there, cause... Eh, just a metal helmet. This one is locked. Healing potion. This one is locked. That. This is lock level 4. Oh. You can even open it. Oh, yeah. I just need to change my gear a bit. <laughs> there was... Picking... Where's my other lock picking thing? There. Oh. Oh, it is unlocked now. <laughs> you can open it. <laughs> I just put mother, my daughter, and me to sit in this chair. <laughs> uh. On a winning streak. Lucky! Nothing. Oh, did I use my last lockpick? I haven't... Maybe you it did. spot in my inventory, so I probably used my last lockpick. Then we have to buy even more of those too. Hmm. Hey, there's a moonstone here. Interesting. A moonstone. Then minor healing potions and a mug of beer and stuff. Do the sheets of paper actually have anything in them, or are they just like sheets of paper? I don't know. <laughs> but there's a minor healing potion here for you. If you want a minor healing potion. Oh, where? All the way to the corner there. I'm leaving you to take it with Madara or you. Oh, there's a new chest actually in here. Sure. <sighs> a lucky break. That didn't sound such a lucky break when you're saying like that, but okay. Hey, I got a new green fabric. Die oh, from this yay. one. Woohoo! I yeah. wanna have blue ones though. <laughs> yeah, but <it's> never... <laughs> why are blue ones so hard to find? Yep. It's main color. Yep. So it is. Supposed to be. Excellent well, letter boots. Sure, a... I'll send you excellent letter boots. Yeah, I guess it was kind of expensive die. Mm. What was it? I don't remember anymore. I, what was to the be most honest. hardest to make in the pseudo medieval period? I don't know. I well, the purple, of course, and those were definitely bought. Yeah, but wasn't blue as well? I don't know. I don't know. Either way, it doesn't really matter in this game because this game really doesn't have any problems with those kind of things. Mm hmm. Just prefers pink dye. Apparently, these are not even stealing if I would be opening these, so sure. Great. Okay. Unidentified. Splendid rope. How much is there of this? 
this. Show me the arrowhead. I mean, there's a quite a lot of this this cellar around here. Yeah, there is, and we definitely can't get into these other locations here, so it's some other location entirely. Nah, there's only just a wall between them. Yep. But I don't see how to get there from here, at least. Oh, there's one more basket that I didn't notice to loot. Not that there was anything there, but there could have been. Yeah. Ah, I wouldn't even need now Lore Master Tree to identify this weapon. Did I have any Lore Master with some ring or another? I did. So if I equip that ring... Then I can identify. Okay. Let's see. What were these boots like? Ah, pretty good boots. Like I'm considering, should I send these... I guess I'll send this to Madora so she can have even more health. Mm -hmm. uh, the heavy boots that I sent to Madora. Oh yeah. A lot better. Yep, I was thinking that those seem very good boots, but it was just I was wondering should I use them myself, but... Then I was thinking... Ah. I had only 17 armor <laughs> on the last boots I had. <laughs> Yeah, that's a slightly better boots now. Slightly, yeah. Well, it's just a little difference. Nothing Maybe much. Go. Bonnie is here in the tavern, so I will just go come here to the tavern room. So we can talk to Bonnie again. Oh, my hero. My heart is still racing. That little monster's face haunts me every time I so much as blink. <sighs> monster's eyes. Didn't have much to sell. So, tell me about yourself, Bonnie. Bonnie's my name, and I am, or rather I was, a lover for hire. Folks would come to me when they were in need of some company, conversation, and more intimate desires. But this fiasco has put an end to it. I'll never set another foot into a client's room, not on my life. Hmm. Let's uh, discuss this Frederick fellow. Yes? Why would he lock you in a room with a bomb? Search me. He's a regular of mine. With rather eccentric tastes, I might add. He always wants me to wear a grey wig, for example, and walk with a cane. But I digress. Um... Okay. <laughs> yeah, that is kinda ex eccentric. Yes. Anyway, he recently spent the night again and I couldn't sleep because of his muttering. He talked something awful all through the night. In the morning, I told him he had gone on and on about some Maradino character and a supposedly secret treasure layer somewhere in the woods. Next thing I knew, he flew into a rage, said the treasure was his and his alone, and that I was nothing but a meddling care. Cow. <laughs> yeah, cow. <care. laughs> that didn't sound like a cow at all, but okay then. I was just about to let him know I won't stand for such language when he pulled that monster of a bicky out of his satchel and told the little gnome to guard the princess and to go boom if I tried to escape. I spent hours of horrid fear up in that room until you saved me. Hmm, but so, he wants the treasure all to himself. What yeah. can you tell me about this town? Nothing much, I'm afraid, but go ahead. I'll answer what I can. Do you like it here in Silver Clan? I used to, you know. Merchants came and went. They paid well and gave me gifts. Fewer and fewer of them travel here now because of the undead around Sicile and the goblins holed up in the mines. Times are hard for a working girl, to tell you the truth. But where would I go? There's danger to be found everywhere these days. These bedeviled days. So, I suppose you're not an immaculate. I haven't been immaculate for a long time now, darling. And if I see what passes for immaculate here in ten, I don't want to join the club anew either. Give me fun, not fanaticism. Give me zeal, not zealotry. These people, I honestly don't know what has gotten into them. 
Hmm. Well, thanks for the information, Bonnie. Yep. So, some treasure. That... Do you see her, by the way, running all the time? No, like I <laughs> she's sitting <laughs> just peacefully in the chair. <laughs> Completely well, peacefully. I was kind of thinking that she was dancing, but I realized now that she's running. Just. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You just see everyone you running about. Wild, yeah. I just know I could take you There's that Raman guy. <laughs> running yep. guy? Where, where, where you, you were going. Okay. You're the yeah. To all my Raymon. You Ramon. You prize fighter. One look at you and I'm knocked out. That's uh, quite a knockout. Quick knockout. And who might you be? Me? I'm Ramon. <laughs> I may not be a genie, but rub me right and I'll make your dreams come true. Um, <laughs> I think this would be more for you, Sarah. Whatever Sare. you want. Sarah, <laughs> right. you come along. You Why can talk to her. Strong? Well, you're okay. a woman. <laughs> you can talk to her. Okay. Him. Him even. Can I listen? There. Aren't your feet tired? Because you've been running through my mind all day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And who might you be? Me? <laughs> I'm Ramon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what would some genius, quality time... Uh, mind if I ask you some questions, I guess, first? No yeah. questions, please. Ramon does not ponder. He does not wonder. He only loves. And what would some quality time with no, you cost me? You Even true walk. love has a price, angel face. Luckily for you, that price is but 250 golden coins. Yeah, thanks for yeah, the Yeah, thanks. Fine. Break my heart. At least I'll go to heaven and see you there. <laughs> I think I'm going to hell, by the way, you know. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's to be honest, it's kind of likely. Windermere. Huh. And Hassad. Kind of interesting name. Yeah. Goddess greetings, friend. Her greatness gave us fire, her greatness gave us earth. And my savvy brings you spells at the best rate in town. Come, give me your best offer. Okay, so fire and earth skill books that this guy sells. So, let's see, is there anything good? I'm not even sure, like, I'm trying to think. Do I have, in like, all of my skills already, like, as many that I can use from these classes? I don't even remember anymore. Um, I can definitely at least learn one more of the Earth, I think. Let me just see, how many of each can I learn? Wrong spot. So, I can learn... Five novice and two adept, and then from pyrokinetic I can learn six novice and three adept. Okay, five novice and two adept. So, I could learn one more novice earth, and one more novice, and one more adept from uh, fire skills, apparently. Not that many, though. Yeah. And my savvy I think I could at the learn best in town. Come, one novice and one adept offer. in the air skills and mm. one adept in water. Mm -hmm. My scout role is full now. <laughs> yep. But that was especially very good scout skill. I really feel like I would like to go and even at least have some sort of a fight this time around because we've just been looking through this town since a long time that yeah this whole time it's just looking through the town just talking to everyone yeah. <laughs> <sighs> yeah nothing that we need to get from that guy do you have then blows the goddess breathes where the rivers run the goddess weeps how can i connect you to our eternal goddess my friend okay so she on the other hand has indeed water and air skill books Interesting. Just my kind of girl. Yeah. <laughs> See, it's Nether Swap skill book, which is pretty interesting for Master Tire Air, actually. Make two characters switch places. That's interesting. Oh, that is interesting. Mm hmm. It might be good at some points. Yep, for sure. Then, of course, Avatar of Storm is actually something you don't get have the immunity for electrifying. So, that is something she has yeah. as a. 
uh, Novi skill book. Is there anything else? Tornado skill book. Removes surfaces from the battlefield, reveals invisible characters, and clears warm, burning, and hastened. Ooh. Intriguing. That tornado. That is intriguing. Yep. Yeah. Sounds very interesting. Ear just clearing the area, <laughs> so to speak. What else? But yeah, that ice wall is also very good sounding, like create a wall to block enemies or to lock them inside and deal damage. Yeah. Was it adept? Yep, that is also an adept skill book, unfortunately. Or fortunately. Yep, but I have, I have one mm. adept slot. Yeah, uh, I didn't actually check Where how expensive it is. The, the ice wall is still Where 930 bucks, so I'm not sure if we can afford it. But maybe we should just come back and try to see after we some exploration and maybe killing some monsters if we end the session yeah. by going and doing some shopping, because otherwise this is gonna take ages if we're just gonna start selling yeah. right now and everything. Yeah, we have kind of taken a lot of the screen time just yeah. going to shops. And yeah, just like... Well, of course, it's a thing when we meet them first time. There's also Nadia's yeah. shop there, apparently. It's just that this is the first new village, finding it. That was pretty sweet, though, finding actually a resurrect scroll here for free, so... Oh, yeah, that was pretty good. Yep. I'm very happy to have found that, just for free. Badet rope. So important find. It's money. <laughs> yes. It sure is money. Like grenade for you. Nothing there. Nothing here. Nothing anywhere. What about <laughs> this barrel? Nothing. But yeah, the, I was Shit. also looking that there's Nadia's shop here, so I guess we could at least check quickly what she has, and then we know. And for the future. Hello and welcome to our shop. I am the son of the proprietor, Nadia. Please let us know how we can help you. Again, a lot of ingredients and lockpicks, actually, so we could try to come and get Ooh, some lockpicks lock here. Mm -hmm. You've probably noticed that my mother Nadia and I aren't from around here. No. We traveled rather far from our hometown to plant new roots here in Silver Glen. My father, Ben, his death was somewhat mysterious. And we've traced the puzzle back to this little settlement. Mm. My mother will have plenty to say on that subject. If you're interested. Tell me about your father, Ben. My father was a good man. Equal in character to his wife. His death nearly destroyed us, Ma and me. But now we're here. And we won't leave until we've held the proper parties accountable for their role in his death. Intriguing. Tell me about Nadia, your mother. Ma's a bit intense, to be sure. Set in her ways, but fiercely loyal to the family. Help her out, and you've got a friend for life. Cross her, and you'll be better off skipping town. Not that that will stop her from cursing your line for the next thousand cycles of bendis. Bendis? Sounds very strange, but okay, let's talk to Nadia. From Maldanita, a source hunter in Silver Glen. I have traveled mile on top of mile to find help, and now help has, uh, how you say... Appeared from skinny vapors. Skinny vapors? Okay, <laughs> tell me about yourself, Nadia. My story? Well, this is no small tale. I think perhaps you will be more interested in the... How you say it? The short end of stick. I believe Lawrence, the leader of Mining Guild, tell my husband and many of other workers to mine deadly ore called Tenibrium. Yup. Lawrence knew that this ore caused rot. Charming name, no? Yet ordered the miners to continue. Many men, my Ben among them, become the sickness. And now they, how you say, kick down the bucket. But this sickness, it is not normal. It kills swift and terrible, not unlike source. <laughs> My son Sebi and I travel from our home to find truth, but this has proven not so easy. Mm, what can you tell me about your husband, Ben? My sweet little Pomargo Visago, my darling Ben. We got along like, how you say, uh, peas and ferrets. <laughs> but 
He here there is work, very well paid, in mines, clearing special rock from silver mine. So he leaves Sebi and I to come to Silver Glen. We wait with hearts like stones for some months. And one day we see familiar figure moving with strange steps on path toward cottage. We run to meet him and take him into our arms, but he collapses at our touch. We help him inside and set him to rest. But he was in terrible condition. Each hour he grow worse, rot so fast we hardly recognize him after two short days. He slip away from us and we bury him with much grief. Hmm. Well, tell me about your son, Sebi. When his father die, Sebi become restless. Being of the age, he join army and go straight to front line. Though I was nearly old woman, I joined army as healer to be near and look after my boy. There we saw special legionnaire using strange weapon. And this legionnaire soon come to my tent with the same disease that killed Ben. I discovered the tenebrium ore in this weapon. It was the ore that killed them both. I come to Silver Glen to discover truth, and here I find Lawrence, that arrogant man, conducts his business without apologize to any. Hmm. So you need help proving Lawrence knowing encouraged, knowingly encouraging the miners to handle the Nibrium. Exactly this. Please, Source Hunter, you must help me prove that Lawrence made his workers to mine deadly Tenebrium for your help. I offer blessing from my homeland. Sevi mal successos, ni plantos serizarbo kai tormenti via nepo subgiai branco. Thank you. Translation is difficult, but it means something like if you fail, I will plant cherry tree and haunt your grandbaby uh, beneath branches. Good luck. That's not <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to ask you some future questions, though. I will do my best to give answers, Source Hunter. How are you getting along in Silver Clan? I have not found scrap of civilization among these apes. Sebi longs for heaping plate of my famous sire mule, but the local fair support no fine food, unless squirrel meat inspire you. As for neighbors, well. Those cultists would rather sacrifice supper to goddess than eat it. Mm. What do you know about the Immaculates? Ha! I have no interest in those emasculate <laughs> goddess. As Val Moxes say in Book of Holy, I am jealous god. Why can I not read your mail if you have nothing to hide? Who is Aunt um. Sherry exactly? <laughs> Aren't I enough for you? Okay, all right, sure. Uh, what do you know about the Nebrium? Holy! Nothing natural could cause such terrible disease at mere touch. If you ask me, I say dark magic, maybe even source at its root. Fuck that foul thing! And you've seen rot in action then? A terrible disease. He transformed flesh of living into flesh of corpse, while infected person still lives. Arms grow black and heavy, legs grow black and heavy, hair rots from scalp. Cielo help me! Oh, what memories I have. Help Um, I, I don't actually know if I asked about Lawrence specifically like that, but I guess I'll try. Tell me about Lawrence. Yep. May Zalmoxis strike him down, the murderer! I have one goal in Silver Glen. To make him share in the suffering he caused. I am certain he has gain from making those miners take the Tenebrium. Now I have only to prove it. Alrighty. And she does have some weapons and stuff like that for sale. Okay, yep. but at least we got a new quest. New Yay. quest. Even more What quests. do you think? Rot. It sounds very much like the disease that came to Home Forest. Interesting. If the scum who infected your forest are here, we'll round up every last one of them. You can set your clock by that, lady. Mm. At least Manora yeah. was kind of nice now, I guess. 
Yeah, I think they are getting along after all. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, what what accent do you think those guys had, Sebi and Nadia? Um, no freaking <laughs> idea. <laughs> no idea, to be honest. <laughs> the world is not immaculate as yet, friend. Be wary, be vigilant. I was just looking at this way place here, so I just thought that might as well go and pick that first. And then we can yep. do other stuff. Maybe you should now go and follow the bloodstains. I don't yep. want to really go and visit this immaculate temple here. Not yet, at least. No, I just, I don't care. Rawr. No, I'll take my <laughs> leave. Is... I was drinking into the rat. you either, bear <laughs> say the undead are immune to rot. I guess because they're already rotten. What? What inside from a rat? Yeah. <laughs> They're already rotten. Okay. Of the lost ones out there, Wanderer. Their blood is impure. Well, we did some little quests here and there. Any house. Let's just go back to where we saw the blood. Where is the blood, actually? Like, I'm trying to now look. There it is. Okay, let's go from here. There's another sign here. And there was nothing here in between. Well, there's Augmentor uh, flower thingy here, I guess, that you could pick up. Right next to me, almost. To be continued with Divinity Original Sin.